A search for answers into an elderly man's death is wrapping up a second day in Luzerne County. An autopsy was scheduled today on the Back Mountain Man. Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Ospiot returned to the scene where the man was found dead earlier tonight and where his grandson was taken into custody. Rachel's in the studio now. Rachel. Mark, there are still many questions about how the child died. This is Grandson Peter's Shock and confusion linger in the neighborhood where 91 year old George Bacon lived and died. I was actually taking my grandson for a walk and had seen it. And it was like, you just never know what's going to happen in your neighborhood. What exactly happened in Bacon's Oliver Road home remained unclear Saturday night, but we know the day earlier, his 19 year old grandson, Joshua Bacon, was found naked and covered in blood inside the home. State police say. He became combative and they had to tase him. Scary. Definitely scary. Neighbors who did not want to go on camera tell me Joshua Bacon moved in with his grandfather a little more than a year ago because the team was having trouble. One neighbor even said they'd seen police at the house on more than one occasion after the move in. However, no one thought police would be called for a death investigation. It's mind boggling. I mean, he was just such a good guy. He never bothered nobody. The younger Bacon was arrested on charges of aggravated assault and resisting arrest, but so far does not face charges in connection with his grandfather's death. Their speculation that may change. It's hard for me to. Something like that could happen. I, I don't think in those. I don't know, like I say, they, they can, you got to be troubled to even think of killing somebody. My heart just goes out to them. I, I couldn't imagine what they all must be going through because it involved family members. Neighbors say they would look forward to seeing Bacon walking his dog in the neighborhood he called home for nearly 40 years. They call this loss devastating. In the studio, Rachel Aspayat, Eyewitness News. All right, Rachel, and as for the autopsy, we left a message with the coroner's office but have not heard back on the cause or manner of death.